Hey y'all, as you can see today I have my budget planner sitting out in front of me. We are going to do a setup of this budget planner and we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. So on the first page, as you can see, we have this that says monthly deluxe planner and this is where you're supposed to put your name. So real quick, I'm just going to white this part out Oops. because this, I have my name, but I need this to not be here. Okay. I have my name done in holographic from Bodacious Prints, and we are just going to stick this down. And hopefully I don't mess this up. So my last one that I just did, I totally did this all crooked. Okay. So hopefully I can get this a lot straighter. Okay, and then I have me that I want to stick down. This is also from Audacious Prince. <laughs> she did me a while ago. So I can just stick me down in my planner. And then I have my Holofoa name. She does not do names right now, but um, Whitney is my friend and she did it for me. So the next page that we are going to do is this page. <coughs> and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up 2018 because I will not need 2018. So this is just Avery sticker label paper. And I am just going to use it to cover... 2018. Sorry, hang on. Okay, that's not perfect, but it'll do. And it doesn't hang over. So just so it's covered up. Okay. <clears throat> And then, just so now I just have 2019 in this overview, and this is where I'm going to use this page and this page together. Um, and I'm going to do, sorry, these sticky notes are from um, planners, uh, the Planner Society box, in case you want to know. But I have this sheet from Panda Bird Designs, and I'm going to use these to um, mark out important days and things that might need like to take that take money that I don't have budgeted in so <clears throat> excuse me yet again like for example let's do January in January I'm gonna zoom you in we have two birthdays okay um, we have so I think I'm gonna do birthdays in this like new color And I'm going to mark it here since I have room up here. So that'll be birthdays. So we have two in January. So I have a birth, we have a birthday on the 21st and then a birthday on the 25th. So these are things that I don't already have budgeted that will cost extra money in the month of January. <coughs> I am so sorry. And then, hang on, I need to get out my, this, my planner I'm using now too, because in the back I have my year, okay. And let me make sure there's nothing else. Um, oh, I do have a wedding. So, I'm going to use pink. For special events. No, no, no. Hang on. These are leftover from um, my one from last year that I did in this big hunk mama. So I'm going to use these. Um, I'm going to use these for special events like weddings and things like that. Okay. So I have a wedding 
the fifth. <clears throat> to remind me that I need to get a gift. Okay, and then in February, <clears throat> I will cut that off. I have a birthday on the 27th in March I have I am traveling and for travel for like trips I'm going to use the pink so I am traveling the 8th right wait wait no, the first, yeah, the first second third and fourth we come back. Okay, and then I have two birthdays. They are both on the 8th, though. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. My camera died, or not my camera died. My um, card got full, so I don't know what the last thing you saw was, but I did add in the last birthday, and then I wrote in those things, and we're going to flip to April. Now, in April... It's only my birthday, so I don't think I need to mark that because, yeah. So, I'm not going to be buying stuff. <laughs> well, I probably will be buying stuff for myself, but. Okay, and then in May, I have a birthday. I actually have two birthdays, but one's my grandpa, and he is no longer with us. The 30th is my sister's birthday. And then in June, the 7th, I have a birthday. It is Chris's brother's birthday. The 28th, I have a birthday. My cousins. And on the 29th, we have a wedding. Which, this one we're going to have to travel for, but I have not figured out our travel plans, so I cannot mark that yet to mark when we are traveling. So... <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> the 30th, I have a ton of birthdays this month. Okay. It's like all my major ones. The 8th is my brother's. The 14th is my mother's. And the 24th is Chris's. Oh, I guess I could have marked my birthday because that's also my dad's birthday, but I'm not getting him. And then the 29th is Win Whitney's birthday. But I'm not getting him my dad anything. I'll just call him or he'll call me. Okay, and then the 10th of October is my aunt's. The 1st of November is my brother's. And then the 20th of December is my friend Samantha's birthday. Okay, <clears throat> and I think that is the major stuff like that we have right now um, there's some things that I don't know like I don't know the travel plans for this because we will have to go to Ohio for this wedding and I don't know the travel plans for that I don't know the um, you know what I need to put in the holidays real quick okay so I think I'm gonna do that with the gray like the holidays that we have to spend money for. So, Valentine's Day. Um, because I get, we get each other's gifts. Um, I'm going to put Halloween because we get candy. And that's an unex... It's one that we don't usually budget for. And then the 25th is Christmas. And then, I'm trying to think of the other holidays. Mm, let me go through them. Um, we will have Easter. 
and I can't remember when Easter is this year. Is it April? This year? Yes, it's April the 21st, which we usually get, like, his niece, we usually get, um, um, his niece something, like a little stuffed animal or something, just something little, because they get together for their, that family. And then, oh, Mother's Day, the 12th of May. And then I know Father's Day is in June. Sorry. And it's the 16th, so he will need to get his dad something the 16th. Um, and then nothing in July. August, I will head back to school, which I will get something for my students, but I don't know when that will be. Because I always do something for my students. October, we talked about, and then we just have, oh, I do want to mark Black Friday. Because we will be spending money on Black Friday, which is the 22nd, right? Let me double check. Oh, no, it's the 29th. So now I'm just going to write holidays down. I don't know if you want to see this, but this is a the Emoji gel pen. And just going to write holidays. Sorry, I don't have the best handwriting. I'm just going to write holiday. Okay. And then that is everything. I think. I'm pretty sure. I feel like I have another wedding sometime this month, but I don't know for the life of me what it is. Okay. This is the next page. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's going to correspond with the other page. I'm going to stick these in the back, back pocket. And it's going to correspond with the other page and just basically tell me what those dots are. So, um, I need to get month... <coughs> days of the month, which I think I'm going to pull them from here. And I think I just want black. So I do have some, but there's a couple months I will have to pull from my other date book, which is okay. So I'm just going to put the ones I have down. So we're going to start with January, just like we did before. And we're just going to stick, I think I'm going to stick it in the top corner. I don't want to put it like in the middle because I'm I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get it even <laughs> or in the middle. Perfect. And then I can just write um, what each one of those days on the other page was. So that's what it looks like. And then I can just write that the first or whatever it was. The fifth is a wedding and things like that. So I will do that later because it will take me time. I have no idea what to do on this page yet. So if you have any suggestions for what to do on the notes page before the monthly starts, that'd be great. We're not going to set up the first month yet. We're going to do that later. We're going to work on the notes pages back here and the ideas that I have for them. So I want to have a just a gift. Um ideas list. I like to have it in my budget planner. So at the top, I will just put some washi and put gift ideas and then I'll cover the flag with
So that is my gift idea and it's just a blank list that I can write anything and everything down. So my next one, I only have a couple of ideas for my notes pages. This is my um, things that I didn't want to buy for the house. Like anything and everything that I want to buy for our house. So cute and this worked pretty well on that and then this is the, literally the last page that I have an idea for and these are just planner shops that I want to check out Okay, and guys, I think that is everything I wanted to set up. So, let's just flip back to the beginning. <clears throat> this is my budget planner, okay? So we put my name down at the beginning. That was from Bodacious Prince. She does not have that in her shop, I'm sorry. We put down all of my dots for events that come up that I might not have already budgeted for, like our bills and stuff. This is the page that will correspond with that where I can write what those dots mean. And then we set up some of my notes pages. I have a gift ideas page. I have a um, things I want to buy for the home page. And then I want to have planner shops to buy from. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any um, ideas of notes pages to add, um, you can leave those ideas down below. And I will see you all next time. Bye, y'all.